right, everybody. It is Sunday, February 21st, and I need to clean my lens off, I think. My Alpine stove came. Camp Chef Alpine stove. So we're unboxing this. I'm excited to use this. I'm going to do the burn-in today, where I burn off all the excess paint. And it's a rainy day. I was going to go out in the bush, but I decided to do this today. Because I got some chicken noodle or turkey, homemade turkey noodle soup that I'm going to cook. And I thought it would be cool to cook it on this stove after I burned some of the paint off. So that's the plan anyway. But this thing is heavy as hell. It weighs 74 pounds. Oh, I can't get it out of the box. Oh my god. This thing is heavy. That's going to be the downfall. This thing is going to stay in locations where I put it. It's for the most part. I'm, I'm going to try not to move this thing around a lot. Um, because uh, this thing's going to require a vehicle to move it or a sled in the winter to pull it behind me. Because, um, I mean, I'm not going to carry 75 pound stove back to the back to go bushcrafting. This is not going to happen. So this is for more permanent-ish installations. Okay. Hi there, boss. How you doing, buddy? Oh, yeah. Hi, buddy. Hi, bud. So I'm not going to show. Everything's in the stove. The legs, the little shelves and stuff. Everything's in this thing, so I don't feel that it's necessary to film all that. But I'm going to put this thing together and and uh, like I say, everything comes fits in the stove. You can buy an optional water tank for this, which I'm going to, because then it'd be nice to have warm water, hot water in the tent. So this will work. Let's put it together. Well, here she is. I didn't go with the full chimney stack. There's two more sections. But I thought, there's no need to run it. That It's clear and away from the house. It's high enough that I'm not getting smoke in my face. Got me, a, had me a fire going in it all afternoon. It's like 6 p.m. now. And uh, I decided, since I got it going, that I would make me some chicken noodle soup, or turkey noodle soup, I guess, in my Dutch oven. So I'm sauteing my vegetables right now. And, uh, yeah, we're good to go. Check this thing out. She burns good. She is really going now. Put some bigger chunks in there. Yeah. How about that? The only thing I don't like is the legs don't want to stay on. So I'm going to have to fix that. I'm going to have to drill through the legs and put a bolt. Um, the other thing that I don't like is this janky ass damper. It's really janky and you can't tell where it's at. I had to basically memorize the position and hope that that's where it's at. So I'm gonna do something about that damper. But otherwise we're good to go. It's heavier than heck. So it's gonna have to stay put wherever I install it for the most part. Moving it is going to require a four-wheeler or a vehicle of some sorts. I'm not going to be... I mean, I could put it on a sled, but I'm not going to be carrying it by hand. Anyway, pretty cool. Been chopping out my vegetables here. Got some garlic ready to go in. Spent the day outside anyway, even though I wasn't bush crafting. Not going to lie, this has been about like a bushcrafting day, even though I'm just on my front porch hanging out in front of my house. i uh been burning this stove since about 2 o'clock this afternoon uh, to break it in, to get all the paint off and stuff before I put it inside somewhere. And uh, so I went ahead and sauteed some vegetables and I got some chicken noodle soup going. And that soup's got a simmer for... A long time before I add the noodles and the meat. So uh, I'm sitting out here. I'll 
open on the left, it's about 35 degrees. It's probably dropping though now, but it's after dark. Got some hot chocolate though in there. Eating some pistachios. Out here enjoying nature. Oh, this is great. Oh, that hits the spot. And I can put it up there and it stays warm. <laughs> this is great. This stove is awesome.